video today. Today I'm showing you my tips and tricks and what products I use to create these three kind of summer and beachy inspired hair looks that obviously you saw in the intro. And what makes this video even more summer and beachy inspired and appropriate is that this video is in collaboration with Wella Shockwaves as they have partnered with the new Baywatch movie which is in cinemas on May 29th 2017. They have bought out three limited edition kind of packaging versions of their top or best selling hero products which you can get from Superdrug from the beginning of May to the end of July so if you like a limited edition packaging order definitely make sure to, to get your hands on them from Superdrug I've left the links to them down below let me show you how they came When I'm on holiday, I might just bring that box with me and kind of lift it up and play it and just run in slow-mo. But yes, I am so excited to be working with Wella Shockwaves on this. They have literally some of the best styling products and literally a product to perfect any hair look or like any look that you wanted to achieve. They are a brand that don't test their products on animals, which I think is amazing. Also, who is just as excited as me to go and see Baywatch the movie? Zac Efron, topless, running down the beach. Hello, May 29th, I'll see you there. But if you're loving the look of these three hairstyles and planning to go and see Baywatch the movie, then definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So without further ado, if you'd like to see how and what I use to create these three beachy, summer inspired DIY hair looks then please keep watching so let's start with the easiest style these classic beachy waves so I'm going to be starting off by sectioning off my hair and using a large sized curling iron with smaller size sections of hair than I usually would and I'm alternating the direction that I curl them each time as this is going to add like more volume and dimension to our hair and I'm literally gonna repeat this process, taking small sections, curling one outward and one inward. And once I'm done with each layer, I'm gonna be tying it back so it's out of the way. Like I said, once I'm done with each layer, I'm gonna be tying it back so it's out of the way and then I can really see what kind of bits I need to curl next. And I do about three or four layers in total, so we've got plenty of curls to play with. So just brushing it through each layer and just preparing it to curl. I always like to make sure that the curl closest to my face is going away from my face because I feel like I've got kind of a round face and I don't wanna emphasize that. So this way everything is kind of going away from my face. So if you like me and have a round face definitely try that trick out but yep just repeating the process of curling in and out on each layer to get the desired curls and you can see I'm taking really small bits so the curls are quite tight because we are going to be brushing them out then we can take all of the layers down and run our fingers through it and give it a little bit of a zhuzh and we can move on to styling I'm just gonna be brushing out the curls lightly to give them a bit of a looser effect before applying the product. So the product we're using for this look is the Wella Shockwaves Volume Mousse. As the name suggests, it's gonna add volume. It also protects your hair from the heat and can be used on a damp hair as well if you wanna blow dry your hair and get that instant of volume. But I'm just gonna be taking a little size amount and rubbing it into my hands and applying this on a dry hair because I wanna have more of like a crunchy, beachy, voluminous vibe. And I'm gonna be running this all through my roots and really it's scrunching up the curls to get that beachy hair effect like so so the second look is this super cute boho braid. I'm getting really festival vibes from this so I'm going to be changing up the parting I'm going to be creating like a big side parting 
And then I'm gonna be sectioning off two fringy bits, one big and then the same on the other side but a lot smaller. And then bringing the rest of my hair around on the side of the big side of the fringe, tying that fringy bit out of the way so it doesn't get in the way. And then we can go ahead and plait our hair. So taking three evenly sized, kind of medium sized chunks of hair and just going down and braiding our plait and then tying it up at the end before we can apply some product. But I do like to pull the plait out slightly so it doesn't feel so tight. For the product, I'm going to be using the Ultra Strong Power Hold Hairspray. This is going to give our curls a long lasting hold and also it has a non-sticky finish which I can really appreciate and it's super easy to brush out. So I'm going to be creating a, a big curl on the fringe by literally wrapping it all the way around the wand. And you can see there, it kind of just creates a lot more of a sophisticated look. And again, just tightening up the curl on the other side as well, just because it dropped a little bit and I kind of wanted it to have a bit more lift. Speaking of lift, I'm going to be backcombing the root of the big fringe so it's upright. And then we're going to be spraying that strong hairspray at the root and all over so everything is held and locked in place and it's going to last all day. So this is the finished hairstyle. I'm definitely getting like effortless, beachy vibes with this. I think it's so pretty. On it to the final hairstyle is these super fun space buns. So I'm going to be a sectioning off the front bits of my hair and I'm taking quite a large section of the front and just combing it back and tying it up into a ponytail. You are going to need kind of four hair ties for this. And again, I'm going to be repeating the process on the other side, just taking a large front chunk of my hair and tying it back. Like so. Then I'm going to be a back combing these kind of ponytail bits to give our buns a bit of volume and I'm just going to be spraying them with hairspray just to make sure that that back comb stays in place and has a bit of stick to it. Then I'm going to be wrapping it around my finger, twirling it round and then tying it up, pulling it out at the root and at the bun so we get a bit more of a voluminous and messy effect because I kind of wanted these to look fun hence why using coloured hair ties as well. I just wanted it to be a fun look but these baby hairs can't be staying there I wanted them to look slick back so I'm taking the ultra strong tough jet tough stuff gel and this is going to really hold everything in place and keep it slick and stuck down but it doesn't have a greasy finish to it which I really like so I'm just taking a pea sized amount and using that to press down all of my little baby hairs and flyaways if you suffer from that problem like me especially in the heat then this is going to be the hero product for you so this is the finished hair look I think it's so fun and easy to do for summer and especially if you're on the beach and you need to tie back your hair I think this is the perfect fun alternative so those were the three kind of obviously it's summer, beachy, festival, whatever you want inspired DIY hair looks that I came up with. Obviously using the three best selling hero products from Wella Shockwaves in the limited edition packaging of course. Definitely make sure to check out the products down below available from Superdrug from the beginning of May till the end of July. And don't forget to go and see Baywatch the movie. I am so excited to go and see it myself. If you recreate any of these hairstyles, definitely make sure to tag me. And also, if you purchase and try any of the Wella Shockwaves products that I've used, then definitely let me know. If you loved the concept of this video, then definitely make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.